Mogul Motivation, educating and empowering entrepreneurs one week at a time. Presented by True Stories Media. And I am your host, Antoine Twiz Taylor. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Mogul Motivation. Welcome back. I'm happy that you are here. If this is your first time listening, this podcast is for the aspiring entrepreneur who is trying to get over that hump and make things happen. This podcast is for anybody with a dream that wants to aspire higher and accomplish that dream. And when I say that, I truly mean it. I don't want anyone to think that because you're not an entrepreneur, because you're not a business owner, you can't listen to this podcast. Although I'm an entrepreneur and although I started this podcast with entrepreneurship in mind, the reality reality is everything that I talk about on these episodes can be relative to business and life. So if you have any type of goal that you want to accomplish, Mogul Motivation is indeed for you. All I ask is you pass it on to somebody else that may benefit from it as well. And when you get a chance, please don't forget to leave a review. Those reviews are very important to me. Um, I do this podcast out of pure passion. This is organic. I don't accept any sponsorships, ads, or anything like that. Um, I don't care about being referred to as a motivational speaker, entrepreneurship guru none of those things because honestly I don't see myself as an entrepreneurship guru truthfully I just want people to look at me look at my entrepreneurship journey my transparency my testimony and realize that it can be done I just want to be a proof of concept that no matter what you're going through you can obtain success and wealth so with that being said one reason why a lot of us don't grow in life is because we're afraid to use a certain word a certain word we struggle with this word um and the reality is a lot of people around us they need to hear this word and if we learn to say this word we'll release a lot of frustration and a lot of things that we have internalized that we're battling that word ladies and gentlemen is the word no you have to learn how to say the word no i'm just now getting to the point where i'm mastering the art of saying no when and how to say no am i telling you you need to say no to everyone and everything of course not but i am saying you have to understand when is appropriate when is appropriate to say no because see the thing is a lot of us we say yes to a lot of projects and to a lot of things that we don't really want to do, right? You know, so if somebody came to us and they want to collab on a business venture and although our heart really isn't in it and although we really don't care too much about it, we'll still say yes or, we're, or we might say maybe to the person because we don't want that person to um, view us any differently, or, you know, if you, if you if you don't want to go to a certain event, if you don't want to do something, we always will say yes or something in between yes and no because we don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. We have to learn how to say no because you got to understand once you start saying no, people are going to respect you more and you're going to gain credibility. You're going to gain confidence in yourself because when you say no to others, you're ultimately saying yes to yourself. You ever agreed to do a project that you really didn't care about and you dreaded it? I have. I, I've done that plenty of times. And, and you know, your, your heart isn't in it, so therefore, it is not fun anymore. It, it seems like that job that you hate to go to, that 9 to 5 that you hate so much. And, and your business shouldn't be like that. Your life shouldn't be like that. You shouldn't have to feel obligated to do things that you really don't want to do. Because, see, when you do that, now you're dampening your growth and you're hurting the person that you agreed to do it with. So if, if, if you say yes to your coworkers, to your staff or to another entrepreneur on something and you really didn't want to do it. Now you're doing more damage to the relationship as opposed to if you would have said no in the first place. If, if you don't want to do something, you have to say no. You have to because, see. Business life is all about chasing peace and freedom. I talked about this on previous episodes. What sense does it make chasing freedom and peace if you're doing things that you really don't care about? You shall only agree and say yes to things that you're 100% passionate about. So if you if you got invited to a speaking engagement and you're passionate about it, then yes, do it. If, if you're going to do something philanthropy wise and you really want to do it, then yes, do it. But if you're really not into it 100%, if your mind, body and spirit is not in 100% agreement with whatever it is, you have to say no. You have to. And, and don't worry about people looking at you as being an asshole. Don't worry about people looking at you as, you know, you're this and that because that's not true. Because the reality is everybody is the same way. Everybody's afraid to say no. 
We're afraid to say no to our staff. We're afraid to say no to our coworkers. We're afraid to say no to our family and our friends. You have to learn how to say no. Because once you start to do that, now you're going to be able to focus on things that you truly care about a lot more. You're going to have more peace of mind. And it's okay to tell people no, because guess what? I got told no a million times on my entrepreneurship journey. I got told no a million times when I was seeking financing. I got told no a million times when I was seeking out partnerships. I got told no a million times when I was seeking out people to even do the podcast. This podcast right here, Mogul Motivation. But I respect people who tell me no because that lets me know that that lets me know that they're not bullshitting and they're not playing games. I respect people who tell me no. And when people tell me no, it motivates me even more. So when I get told no, I just keep keep it moving because I know that eventually I'm going to get to that yes and I'm going to accomplish my goal. So you have to look at it from that perspective. When you tell somebody no, you're not doing them a disservice. You're doing them a favor. Because you're not going to going to agree to something that you really don't want to do. And then it can motivate them to keep pushing until they find that yes. It might not be destined for you to help this person or to do this project right now. It may be destined for them to do it with somebody else. It may be destined for another idea. That's the power of no. If they really want it, they're truly ambitious. They're going to find a way out of no way. To accomplish whatever they're trying to accomplish. You have to learn how to say no. Ladies and gentlemen. It's very important. Because everything from leadership. Entrepreneurship. Management. Everyday life. Revolves around yes and no. Every day we have choices. We can either say yes or we can say no. And when you say no. You don't have to explain yourself either. You don't have to explain yourself to your staff. You don't have to explain yourself to other entrepreneurs. You don't have to explain yourself to your family and friends. If you don't want to do something, if you don't want to commit financially to something, if you don't want to do whatever it is, just say no. You don't have to explain yourself to anyone. You don't have to give them a thesis on why you can't do it or why you don't want to do it. You just don't want to do it. It's just that simple. Start to take control of your life right now. By using the word no. It's a two letter word but it's so powerful. And it's so necessary. For the growth of entrepreneurs and dream chasers. Because we have to have laser focus. We have to be focused on our goals. We have to help ourselves first. Right? You can't help somebody else build their business. If you're still trying to build yours at the same time. We have to focus on our goals. On our mission first. And when we have more capacity, when we have more freedom, more flexibility, then yes, we can start helping a lot more. And again, I'm not saying you can't help anybody right now. I'm not saying you should say no to everything right now. I'm not saying that. But what I am saying is if you know it's going to take more time than what you can commit, if it's going to take more financial commitment than what you can, if it's going to take more energy than what you can give at this point, you have to say no. You have to. You can't overstretch yourself in anything that you do. You can't continue to damage yourself by trying to help everybody else out. You can't damage relationships by helping people out when you really don't want to help them out and you know you can't help them out. You have to say no. So that's my message this morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's okay to help people. It's okay to do the right thing. But if you know you can't at this moment... And if you know you really don't have your heart in it, you have to say no, no matter what it is. So let's continue to work. Let's continue to imagine reality. And don't forget that this one magic word will relieve a lot of pressure and a lot of stress off your spirit in entrepreneurship and in life. If you just tell people no at the right time. Have a great day. I'll talk to you next week.